Abby from Make Life Your Runway here with my weekly makeup basket. Okay, all right. So in front of you is last week's basket. I will link that video down below. And I will also insert photos of um, the makeup I did for my prom. I talked about it for two weeks, so I thought I would share it with you. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. So in front of you are the products from last week. Like I said, these are all like die hard loves. Like everything in here is perfection. Like every time I use them, I feel like it wasn't enough time with them. But you know, I had my Mark Jacobs blush. This one was in Kink and Kisses. Absolutely, absolutely loved it. Loved my uh, Dark Matter Melt stack. Love it. It repaired really nice with this Buxom. Um, it's Glitz Factor, I think is what the single is called. Ah, so good. This number seven translucent powder. This week, for the first time, I used the um, the little puff that comes with it. Let's see if I can open it without making a mess. Um, it has like the puff that sits on top. This week, I used that puff to basically bake my whole face. Like, I only left it on there for maybe like five seconds. I brushed it off with my Fit Me powder. But I don't know how I feel about it. Like, it feels kind of tight even though I set it with a setting spray. But it, like, lasted literally all day. And if you know what my, uh, have been following my recent project pan, the foundation that I'm panning is not very good on its own. It needs a lot of help. So that powder on top of it, it was like... It was just beautiful and then like the blush and the bronzer just sat perfectly in place like today I had my makeup on for um, I don't know 12 hours and it looked as good as at the end of the day as it did at the beginning of the day um, yeah so I don't know how I feel about it very mixed feelings I was just using it to set my under eyes prior to that but yeah I don't know I just try new things. But anyways, I'm going to put this away. And then if you want to see what I pull for next week, then just keep watching. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Woo. All right. So this is like a month in of not buying makeup. Not necessarily intentional, but I'm, I'm proud. I've looked. You know, I'm not going to say I haven't. But, uh... So we're just working with the same stuff, and I did completely empty my basket, which I don't do very often. Okay, so I kind of had two schools of thought with this basket. There are some products I know I love that I haven't pulled in a while. I thought about that. Um, I've been trying to think about products I want to pan, and then I'm also going to see my family soon, and my cousin is 17, 16, 17, I feel like she's 17. Um, and, um, she loves makeup as much as I do, so I just wanted to, like, kind of see if there are any products that I don't really use that maybe she might enjoy. I try to take makeup to her every time I see her, because she loves it as much as I do. She just doesn't have the, you know, money budget for it yet. So... Yeah, I think I'm going to lean more towards a mixture of that, I guess. Products that I haven't used in a while that I could maybe give away mixed with products that I just really, really love. Alright. <sighs> My phone's making a lot of noise. Alright. What do we want to do here? I am painting so many things, but one of the things I'm painting is a foundation. And I'm almost done. Spoiler! Um, I am panning a primer, so I'm not going to pull any primers this week. Um, so, let's just stick with a foundation just in case I run out of mine this week. What do I want? This is the last week of school, a.k.a. last week of work. <sighs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Um... Okay, there's always my Neutrogena that I love going back to. I've been thinking about what to pan next. This one I don't feel is old enough to pan. It's one of my newer foundations. Um, I love the Lumi True Match. I really wish I was dark. I'm gonna, you know what? I have a 
gonna use this um, natural buff infallible in a while I really love this foundation and I miss it and I've even thought about buying one that's more my winter color but I've gotten a little sun so let's see if I can make this work at all um, if it is too dark maybe I can just mix in a drop of the Lumi um, I'm not gonna pull the Lumi but you know what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull the L'Oreal, but I'm going to pull this concealer. This is the Maybelline Adri Wine. I could just do this in the center of my face to brighten it up if it looks like the foundation is a little bit too dark. How about we try that? It's worth trying, right? <laughs> um, the Fit Me Powder, love it. I, as you can see, have hit pan. I really, really enjoy this, and I'm proud of myself. So, I'm going to keep pulling that. Um, do I want the number 7? Or I haven't used the Laura Mercier in a while. You know what, let me go back to the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I um, haven't pulled that in a few weeks. So, I have a concealer, I have a foundation, I have a primer that I am panning, and I have setting powder. Bronzer are in the other drawer, so the next thing we need is blush honestly there aren't any blushes that I want to give away I know that right now so I don't have to worry about that as far as no this one this one I lied city color B matte blush this one is a peak grapefruit really love this formula and this color but I just never wear it um, so let me pull it this week and see if that's one that I can pass along or do I want to keep it in my collection I also want to pull something else um, to go with it just in case I decide it's not really something I want to wear all week. And what I want to do is this one. This is a Fetish by Urban Decay. This blush is so nice. When I first bought it, I didn't really appreciate that much because it's not very pigmented. And when I first got it, I'm like, this blush is so expensive. I mean, I got it during... 21 days of savings up this last time they did it, but the time before. And um, so I didn't pay full price, which by the way, these are on clearance on Ulta's website and Urban Decay's website. I don't know if they're discontinuing them or what. But anyways, I was like, this is such an expensive product and I'm like, and it's not pigmented. But I've grown to love it. Um, I like that it is not pigmented. That means you can layer it up pretty well. So I do really like this after all I know I love that and I won't want to um, get rid of it but it will be good to just use and love just love all right so that's everything for this drawer we're gonna go up to bronzers and highlighters Ooh, I had to zoom you out of this drawer <laughs> this is so beautiful my bronzers and highlighters um, I don't think I want to get rid of any of my bronzers. Mm, the negative, do not. Um, but one highlighter that I could get rid of is this e.l.f. Illuminating Palette. I just haven't really used it that much. So I'm going to use it this week and see how I feel about it. And I'm going to just pull this feel like I'm going to regret only pulling that, but that's a sign that I should get rid of it if I don't really like pulling it. Right, right, right. Um, so bronzer, I have not been bronzing just to save time. I talked about that a little bit last week, and um, I think, well... I don't know. Let's go with the Butter Bronzer. Tried and true. Butter Bronzer in Light. Lizite. Light. <laughs> I'm like slap happy. This is my me night. So I'm going to drink wine, cook my pizza, and watch YouTube, and catch up on Empire. And I, I get very behind on shows, so I'm like eight episodes behind in Empire. Uh, there are a bunch of other shows that I'm completely behind on. Um, I just, I get so distracted that I don't go back. But anyways, 
that is it for this drawer. Um, we're going to go down to the eye drawer. Alright, eye drawer. I don't know if there's anything in here that I want to give away, to be honest. I love my Urban Decay's Lorac. I like the Too Faced um, Cover Girl. I like that. I like my Wet n Wilds. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in there I want to get rid of. You know, honestly, this Too Faced... I could ponder it. I don't know. I, I think I'm good. But the product, the palette I want to pull this time is the Naked 3. I was thinking when I pulled the Smokies last week, like, I use the Smokies more than I use the Urban Decay Naked 3. And this was my first high-end palette. Um, this came out when I started watching YouTube, so a few years ago, two, two and a half years ago, I don't even know. Um, I really like it. It gets mixed reviews, but I think it's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull this for the week. Alright, and here is the final drawer. This is just mascara and odds and ends. Um, okay, this Mary Kay Lash Primer, absolutely in love with it. So I'm going to pull that. Uh, L'Oreal Voluminous. This is in blue. I don't use this often, but I like to have it on hand. Um, let's see. I think I'm almost done with this gimme brow. I'm going to see if I can squeeze one more week out of it. It's a sample in number one. And then I, let's see, I think that's all for that. This, uh, They're Real by Benefit, same thing. I think I could squeeze one more week out of it, so I'm just going to pull this one and not the other one. I did use the Lancome, um, this is Hypnodrama, Hypnostrama. I do like it. I think it's really good from what I've used so far. So, I think that's it. I don't think I need any glitter for the week. I don't think I need any samples for the week, or, yeah, samples. Singles. Don't think I need any of those with the um, Naked 3. <laughs> Brain fart. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. So let me show you my basket. Alright everyone, here is my basket for the upcoming week. I'm really excited, mostly for the foundation. I really hope I can make it work. Ah, fingers crossed. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I appreciate you so much. This week I posted my rolling project pan um, update. So I will link that down below. I'll have last week's basket linked down below. And I also did a get ready with me um, a couple weeks ago. I guess it was last week. Yeah, that I'll link down below. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.